now we are going to see the nozzle neck thickness calculation so procedure for nozzle neck thickness calculation is given in subsection a under general requirements ug45 so ug45 will give us the guideline for the calculation of the nozzle neck thickness so what is that procedure for the access and inspection opening if you remember i have mentioned uh, in the first slide uh, that there is a differentiation between the process or the other nozzles and the access opening because access openings are not getting connected with any process nozzles these are always having the blind connection so these will not face any of the pressure temperature uh, variations which otherwise the other process nozzles will uh, uh, will face also the temperature variation or we can say the loads which are getting connected because of this attached piping are also not there so that's why these nozzles will also have given the different treatment as compared to the other types of nozzles or the process nozzles so whenever we are designing manway or we can say handhole inspection opening uh, nozzles in that case the nozzle neck thickness will be calculated as tug45 the final thickness as per ug45 is called as tug45 so when there is a nozzle inspection or we can say the manway opening in that case tug45 is directly equal to ta now what is this ta now this ta is nothing but the required thickness <clears throat> the minimum required thickness of your nozzle neck or that cylinder or we can say a pipe or the cylindrical shape under uh, internal and or the external pressure as per its applicability plus the corrosion allowance what we need to add so let's say we are having one cylindrical nozzle and for the pressure of 10 bar we have decided we have calculated the thickness by the formula uh, let's say the formula we are using pr upon ac minus 0.6 and we have calculated the thickness as 2.5 so 2.5 is our required thickness in that we have to add corrosion allowance if there is any let's say there is a corrosion allowance of 1.4 so 2.5 plus 1.4 it becomes <clears throat> 1.5 becomes 4 mm so 4 mm is nothing but our tug it is directly calculated as simple as that so only for that pressure whatever is required that only we are calculating and we are adding corrosion allowance that's it that is the end of the procedure for the manway or the inspection of thing which is very very simple so here one more time we are going to see that what is ta ta is nothing but the minimum neck thickness required for internal and external pressure as per you we know that uh, for internal pressure ug27 is applicable and for external pressure ug28 is applicable in that uh, thickness calculated we have to add the corrosion or if any threading is there then the threading allowance also needs to be there so this is the bare minimum thickness that should be available in the nozzle if that is an inspection opening or an access opening so this is one criteria or one category of the uh, uh, nozzle which is the inspection or access opening then the other which are called as the other than that of inspection or access opening which will be your instrument nozzle it can be your uh, process nozzle all these nozzles will be calculated as there is not a single step as we are, we have seen in case of your inspection opening but in case of the other type of nozzle there are total three steps will be involved the step number 1 which will be similar to what we have seen there we will be calculating first the ta what was ta ta was the required thickness of that nozzle or that nozzle pipe or that nozzle cylinder for that internal and or the external pressure and in that we have to add the corrosion allowance so to sustain that pressure what thickness is required plus corrosion allowance that is nothing but the ta which is the required thickness for that nozzle for that pressure then in where the ta as we have discussed it is nothing but the required thickness for that internal and or the external pressure as per the applicability and plus corrosion allowance we have to add into that then we move to step number 2 so we have calculated ta based upon the internal or external pressure for that nozzle separately now in step 2 we are going to calculate the neck thickness which is called as a tb first we have calculated ta now we are going to calculate tb now this tb is not a single thickness this tb we have to choose from three different thickness which are these three different thicknesses those are tb1 tb2 and tb3 so are these the nozzle thicknesses tb1 and tb2 are not the nozzle thicknesses these are the thicknesses of the shells or the heads on which the nozzles are getting attached so please do remember 
TA what we have calculated that we have calculated for that particular nozzle. But this TB1 and TB2 are not the thicknesses of the nozzle. These are the thicknesses of the parent component, or we can say the cylinders or the distance or the heads on which these nozzles are going to be placed upon. So TB1 and TB2. TB1. Let's see uh, in detail what this TB1, TB2 are. And in TB3, TB3 is the thickness which is as per UG45. The code has given us one table. So based upon the size of the nozzle, they have given us the minimum thickness without corrosion allowance. In that, we have to add the corrosion allowance. So there is a table UG45. From that table, let's say our size is two, uh, 200 NB or a DN200. So for that DN200, whatever minimum thickness is being specified plus corrosion allowance, that is our TB3. So let's see one by one. What is TB1? As I have already mentioned, TB1 is not the thickness of the nozzle. This is the thickness of the vessel or the parent component or the head on which that nozzle is getting attacked. But TB1 is only for that internal pressure thickness. It is not for the external pressure. So let's say TB1 for the vessels under internal pressure, the thickness plus corrosion allowance required for the pressure. Here we have to assume joint efficiency as one, irrespective of your degree of radiograph. Your degree of radiography could be no full part. But for the nozzle calculation, for TB1 calculation, we have to consider joint efficiency E as one while calculating thickness of this cylindrical pressure vessel. So TB1 for the vessels under internal pressure, the thickness plus corrosion allowance required for pressure, assuming E is equal to one for the shell or the head at the location where this nozzle neck or the other connection is getting attached to the vessel. In no case, this thickness should be less than the minimum required thickness of UG16B. If you remember, minimum thickness for the shells or the cylindrical shells or the heads has been given under UG16 for the various applications. In normal case, it is 1.5. If it is a air steam water service, then it becomes 2.5. If it is unfired uh, steam boiler, in that case, that minimum thickness requirement is how much? 6 millimeter plus corrosion allowance we have to add. So that thickness also we need to compare with the calculated thickness and whatever is maximum, that will be our TB1. So we can say TB1 is a maximum from the calculated thickness and from UG16B. And into that, we have to add the corrosion allowance. So TB1 is the thickness for internal pressure for the vessel or the parent component. It may be a shell or the head under internal pressure. Now let's move to TB2. Now as TB1 is for internal pressure, TB2 is also for the same component on which the nozzle is getting attached. It is the thickness of that component. But if there is external pressure, so if there is an external pressure, in that case, this TB2 we need to Calculate. If there is no external pressure, TB2 will not come into the picture. So TB2 is for the vessel under external pressure. So please, uh, please make a note of it. It is not internal. It should be external pressure. For the vessels under external pressure, the thickness plus corrosion allowance required for the pressure, assuming E is equal to 1 for the shells or the heads under location. But this thickness should also be not less than UG16B. So here also we have to satisfy the minimum requirement of UG16B. But in this case, this TB2, whenever we are calculating, this should not be calculated as per UG28. That is L by D, O, D, O by D, factor A, factor B, allow pressure. That is not the procedure what we need to do. We have to consider this external pressure as an internal pressure. And we have to use the same formula of internal pressure. That is PR upon AC minus 0.60, where the pressure what we are going to get used that pressure is nothing but the external pressure. Let's say there is a full vacuum. So there is 1.034 is an external pressure. So for calculation of this TB2, E we have to consider as 1. We have to use the same formula as, for, as we have used for TB1. That is PR upon AC minus 0.60. In this, instead of uh, P as an internal pressure, we will be using external pressure value as an internal pressure. That's it. That's the only difference. So TB2 is the thickness we are going to calculate with the same formula as that of TB1. Only we will replace the pressure by the external pressure. We don't have to calculate the thickness for external pressure of that cylinder separately or the parent component separately as far as that L by D, O, D, O by D factor A factor B. Or in case of distance, it is a different procedure. That is RO upon T ratio. That is not supposed to be asked over here. Here it is very simple. It is only external pressure we have to 
put in the same formula of internal pressure as the pressure value and we have to calculate the thickness then the tb3 tb3 is the thickness given in table ug 45 plus the thickness we have to add for the corrosion load so tb3 is the third thickness which we have to select from the table so let's have the look at that table what they were referring to in finding out the thickness tb3 so table ug45 nozzle minimum thickness required without corrosion allowance in that we have to add the corrosion allowance so let's say r size is dn200 so let's say for this dn200 what is the minimum thickness this is in inches this is in millimeter so 7.16 mm is the minimum required thickness tb3 into this we have to add the corrosion allowance let's say it is 1 mm and it becomes 8.16 mm that is the final TB3. TB3 is not this thickness. TB3 is this thickness plus corrosion allowance. Please do remember. People are often get confused about this. They are directly selecting it from here. If there is no corrosion allowance, in that case, it will be this thickness. If there is a corrosion allowance, in that case, that will be the thickness. This thickness plus corrosion allowance, that's what we have to add in to this. So let's say the table UG45 thickness plus corrosion allowance will give us the value of TB. Three. Now, just below this table, it has been mentioned, let's say we are not having using the standard nozzle. We will be using some non-standard nozzle or we can say a self-manufactured uh, nozzle. Let's say my nozzle is having an ID of 225. So, it is neither 200 NV, neither 250 NV. So, now how to go about that? If my nozzle is falling in between the two, then we have to take the dimensions or the minimum required thickness of the higher one that is what has been mentioned under this note so that is just we going to read it for the nozzle having a specified outside diameter not equal to the outside diameter of the equivalent np that is nominal pipe size dn size then the dn size or the npa size chosen from the table shall be the one which is having an equivalent outside diameter larger than the outside diameter so what they are saying if you are having such a shape which is not been uh, covered exactly over here then we have to take the next available size and its minimum required thickness in the calculation so i hope you are understanding if let's say our size is 275 as a id then it will be in between these two so we should not get 8.11 as the thickness for dn 250 we should go for the higher one which is 8.34 mm as the size. So this is from where we are going to get calculate the third thickness, which is TB3. Once we have calculated all these three thicknesses, then we can calculate this final thickness TB, which is equal to minimum of in bracket TB3 and maximum of TB1 and TB2. So maximum of the parent component thickness for internal or external pressure, and that we have to compare with this table UG45 plus corrosion allowance thickness and out of these two the minimum thickness will be coming out as the tb so tb thickness is nothing but minimum of tb3 and maximum of tb1 and tb2 so this is how we are going to calculate tb thickness so first we have calculated ta which was the thickness calculated for the nozzle for which we are performing this calculation then tb TB is the thickness we have calculated from three thicknesses TB1, TB2, and TB3. TB1 is uh, for the vessel or the uh, head under internal pressure. TB2 for the head or the vessel under or the cylinder under external pressure, where we will be using external pressure in the same formula of that internal pressure. So we don't uh, going to use any other method to find out that TB2. That is the uh, IUG28 and other methods we are not going to calculate for TB2. TB2 is nothing but the same formula we have to use only we have to replace the internal pressure with the external pressure then the third which is tb3 which is table ug45 thickness plus corrosion allowance so hence we have calculated ta and now we are ready with tb now in the step number three which is the final step in the nozzle neck thickness calculation we are going to calculate the tug45 which is the final thickness so we have the thickness ta which is for that nozzle for that internal pressure so should we ever get any thickness or uh, take any thickness which will be lesser than what is there in the TA? No, we will never use that because that is the basic required thickness for that internal or external pressure for that nozzle component. So that's why here if you look at TUG45 is not the minimum of the thickness. 
it is maximum of ta or tb whatever we have calculated so tug 45 which is our final thickness which is equal to the maximum of ta and tb we have calculated first ta then we have calculated tb among these two we have to take the higher thickness and that will be our final tug 45 thickness so this is how we are going to calculate the nozzle neck thickness this is not the calculation for reinforcement this is just to find out the thickness of the nozzle neck as per ug 45 where tug 45 is the minimum wall thickness of the nozzle as per the clause or the general requirement of ug 45 so this is a simple procedure where we are calculating in uh, three steps the thickness for the nozzle in step 1 ta in step 2 tb and in third step the maximum of ta and tb that will be our tug 45 so this is what so far we have discussed so uh, the final what we have seen for the other than the access opening if we look at all the procedures that is step 1 2 3 all together then we can see in step 1 what we have done in step 1 we have calculated the thickness ta which was for that nozzle for the internal or external pressure this was please remember that ta is the thickness of that nozzle wall what we have calculated then we are going to calculate in step 2 the thickness tb which is coming from three thicknesses tb1 tb2 tb3 tb1 is or uh, the parent shell or the head thickness under internal pressure tb2 is under external pressure we will be using same internal pressure formula only this external pressure we are going to use instead of internal pressure in that formula then we will take maximum of these two thickness and we are going to compare that with tb3 what is this tb3 this is the thickness what we are going to get from that table uc45 plus the corrosion allowance what we have to add into that so now we are having that table uc45 plus corrosion allowance thickness here we are going to calculate tb1 tb2 please do remember while calculating this we also need to compare with the ug16b that is a minimum thickness requirement for the heads and the shell so among these two we have to take the minimum that will be our tb so after having ta and tb we have to take maximum among these two. so the final tug45 thickness will be the maximum of ta and tb so this is how we are going to calculate the nozzle neck thickness 